same brush by Sephora. It is a blush control brush. So I'm going to use there. Okay. All right. Next thing we're going to do is put a little blush there. We're going to add a little color. So I am going to use, which color are we going to use today? We're going to use blunt. Smile and put it on the apples of the cheeks. And I'm going to also add a little pink in there as well. I'm going to use Norris Exhibit A. Is that Exhibit A? No, that's Dose Vita. Let's add a little, let's do a little Norris so we can add a little color. On the apples of the cheeks. And I'm going to blend that out. bit of blunt to kind of soften that out a little. Make sure it's evenly distributed. And I'm going to use my big powder brush just to kind of soften it up a bit. And this is my Sephora powder brush. It's the Precision, precision Powder Brush. And the next thing we're going to do, we are going to contour the nose area. And I like using blunt to do that as well. And I'm going to go with my 224 brush. I'm going to look straight ahead and I'm going to go straight on the side of the nose. Draw a line on the sides of the nose. Look straight ahead because if not, you can come up with a crooked line and your nose is going to look crooked. And we don't want that. We're going to curve it. The size of the nose. That's to create a slimmer effect with the nose area. And we're going to use a highlighting concealer. My Stila, my same Stila kit. But instead of using the darker color, which was the contouring color, I'm using the lighter color right now to do the highlighting. And the nose has a slimmer effect already. And those color work, colors work great for me. Sometimes it's hard for brown skin to find the right contouring and color because it just fades in with the color a lot of times. That's done. And now we're going to do lashes. When you're putting on lashes, you want to make sure that the glue becomes tacky and a little dry. I would make a lot of mistakes and put lashes on with the glue still being wet and it just made a mess. Just make sure that it kind of gets tacky and kind of sticky and then you know you're ready to put on your lashes.
let's put some mascara. And I love using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Black. lashes I used are by Salon Perfect in number one, what number is it? 110. No, 53. I like them. They look real natural. Put a little bit more. Okay, we're not quite done yet. I'm going to add some powder all over. Add a little bit more mascara. some translucent powder and I love using Laura Mercier translucent powder I use different ones I use MAC I use black opal but today I'm gonna use Laura Mercier that's one of my favorites it doesn't give your skin a dull cast like some of those powders can do it just looks real natural and it gives it a vibrant look anytime you put powder on you want to dust some off you don't want to put too much. It'll give, make you look like a ghost. You don't want to look like a ghost. You still want to have a pretty vibrant look. You don't want it too, too, too dull looking either. When it washes it out, sometimes I go over that area, like the cheek area. We're going to do a little bit more contouring. So what's left on the brush? So it kind of washes away with the powder. And I just kind of used some of the excess I had from before. I'm going to do the same thing. Blend that so you don't want to have any of the hard lines, harsh lines. And then sometimes I go in with my sleek contouring kit as well. Or suck the cheeks in. Try a little sleek. I'm gonna use a little bit of sleek, slightly. Dust that off. I'm gonna blend it out to make sure you don't have any harsh lines. There's something there, but it's not a harsh line. So, last but definitely not least, we're going to do some lip color. And I'm going to try this color by e.l.f. It's like a jumbo lip gloss stick. And it is in brown. In the new. Let's do the lips. I'm going to use this jumbo pencil that I got from e.l.f. It's a jumbo pencil and the color is called In the New. So, I'm going to line my lips first. And I'm going to use one of my favorite pencils by MAC. And it's a chest nut liner. It 
It's called Max Chestnut Liner. That's the color. So you're going to... And I have a perfect little cupid bow. So I'm going to emphasize that today. Because he did like a nude look. So I want kind of like a nude pencil. So I'm going to use this one the crayon. And I'm going to line it here. Pucker together. And that completes the look for my basic makeup look. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.